Hey everybody, I didn't want to just dump you into a video, so I'll just preface this by saying I came back up to the site of the cable derailment at the cable crossover and caught them venting the LPG tanks and caught a couple of trains. So let's check that out. All right, well, as you can see, we are at the cable crossover. Everything is all hunky dory there. He just ran a west, or I'm sorry, an eastbound through as I pulled up. And the only reason I came down here today is that I was down by Waylong, uh, between Waylong and Marcel, doing some stills. But it's really windy. It's probably sustained wind of 20 miles an hour and gusts much faster than that. About like it was uh, the second day I was up here when everybody complained about the wind noise. But anyway, you can see that they are venting gas off the LPG cars. When I first pulled up, the uh, car closest to us was its uh, vent was still burning, but it has gone out. So evidently that car has burned itself off. Uh, this is likely just residual gas, I guess. I was told these cars were all empty, but I don't know. Maybe they weren't. I've been here for about, I don't know, 10 minutes and that thing's still going strong. I don't know how long it takes to burn these off. Yeah, if you do, leave in the comments below. I came up last week and it was beautiful up here. I have some other things I wanted to shoot while I was here today, but it's it's just too windy and it's cold. It doesn't look cold outside, but it's, uh, well, it's only about 48 degrees, but uh, the wind is blowing, which makes it chilly to just stand out there. In. And before you folks from Nebraska and North Dakota and all these other places get on me about not knowing what cold is. I get it, but that's cold for this area. And also, I'm doing something over there. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe putting new pipe in, in that culvert. There's a culvert over there, so it's just been a, like a small bridge, I guess, all these years. And gets blocked up kids go down there and party and people dump trash in it because people are idiots and they're lazy but anyway i'm not sure what they're doing perhaps they're putting uh, pipes through there and gonna fill that in a little bit better so that can't happen anymore at least people can't go down there and party and dump trash i'm not sure but you know me i love to speculate well i figured i'd come over here and get these guys in on the action since they're right here just above the crossover they had an auger on that uh, piece of equipment. As I pulled up here, they had just finished uh, augering a hole. They took that auger off and put this other piece of equipment on it. This other attachment, I'm not sure what it is. No, they're actually pressing that down uh, between the rails. That must be for better drainage. There are a few places throughout my career where we had them do that, or I should say they had them do that. And that's what it was for, they would put those big pieces of pipe in there, fill them with uh, gravel or rock, and create better drainage. So it actually looks like they're working just this side of that culvert there. You can see uh, it goes under the tracks right just the other side of the uh, piece of equipment there. Kinds of stuff going on up here today. All right, here comes our eastbound with that big lash up on the point. 
They are running a Form B through here. I was going to turn on my handy dandy scanner that Jeff Palmquist bought. Uh, that uh, just Palm. That Jeff Palmquist, one of my viewers, gave me. But I left the darn thing on and its batteries are dead. Power little train. Whatever it is, they must have needed it to get wherever it's going. In a hurry. All right. All right. Well, it looks. Oh no. Nope. That went out just a minute ago, and I thought they were up there gonna take it off but guy just lit it up again so I guess it's not done all right well that flame just went out but it looks like it's still venting gas something all right well I guess they're gonna just let the let it vent that way for a while I guess they're not relighting it no one seems to be too much of a hurry to do anything down there all right well as i said they're running them nose to tail this one is about i don't know less than 10 minutes behind the big power little train that just went by still burning that off so, i don't know when they're actually going to come and Start clearing these cars out of here. I am leaving on a vacation next week. So if they don't do it by then, and they do it while I'm gone, I'm sorry that I'm not going to catch it. I will come up. Uh, this is Wednesday. I may come up one day early next week before I leave. We'll see. But I really doubt they're going to do much with these cars. Oh, my phone is just not working well.
you can see it's still quite a climb. We're almost at the Atropy. Still quite a climb from here to the top of the summit, which is about four miles from here. Levels out a little bit. That's a hatchery between here and summit. I don't remember if I mentioned it in my other videos from here, but I, I have comments from folks about, uh, oh, it must be a PSR train or this or that or whatever, as far as the derailment went, but uh, I was talking with my buddy this morning at Coffee, he still works here, and I know that I have worked at about a half a dozen derailments right here over the years and the ones I worked were all prior to big long PSR trains. Uh, one of the problems here is the trees over there in Tehachapi Creek used to be a lot bigger problem. We came through here in the late 90s and cut a lot of those down and paid a contractor to do a lot that we couldn't get to because you couldn't see these signals for westbound, but you couldn't see the westbound signals, especially on the number two track, which used to be the number one track, until you came, you'd be really close before you could see them. And a couple of times that's what happened. Uh, something had happened ahead of these signals. There used to be an intermediate, just the other side of the 202 bridge uh, there, this side of Tehachapi. And both times, they had, uh, I, I should say a couple of those times, they actually had green signals when they went by here and they came here and these signals were red. And they plugged the train, went on the ground. I don't know what the, I don't recall what the causes of the other ones were, but they were all westbounds going down the hill. There were no string lines. It was all, that was always the issue here. Was, uh, going downhill. And, uh, so it's my understanding that, and I had to ask some of my uh, uh, train guys if they had heard anything, and they said that a car kicked loose in that train. I had to ask them what that meant. I didn't know, but evidently that car lost its brakes, which I guess caused other cars to lose its brakes or to lose their brakes. The train began to pick up speed coming down the hill, and they put the train into emergency. And that's what, that's my understanding. That is not official, that's just my understanding. shoot me those ideas drop in the comments below shoot me an email at moto 59 at gmail.com like share subscribe click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content see y'all later